Hello, pineapples. They're lovely fruits, and today we're gonna make another delicious beverage using pineapples. What's that? So welcome back to the Boys and Girls Club of the Los Angeles Harbor Channel programs. My name is Eddie, you know, Boys and Girls Club, fun stuff. And filming me today is another special guest. You may recognize who she is. That is Miss Stephanie Espinosa. Hi guys. Yep, so we're back. We're gonna make another delicious beverage, continuing our Coping with Stress Cafe Boys and Girls Club series. We have a few more to kind of get done, so I hope you guys look forward to it. I think the next one we're gonna do a little coffee beverage, so for those of you that are watching these videos, you get the in to know information, right? You know what's coming. Everyone else won't know. You guys know. That's the first. So the first thing that we're gonna start off with is picking a lovely, delicious pineapple. So the secret I know to picking a beautiful pineapple is, you know, it looks nice, smells like nothing. But <laughs> the truth is you want to go into these inner center leaves and you want to try and pluck one out. If it comes out easily, then your pineapple is ready and ripe. If it's a struggle to pull it out, it's not ready. It needs some more time. But that's just a little fun fact for you guys. See, I did not know that. There you go. So, now I'm going to teach you guys how to cut a pineapple. I learned this from my mom. My mom worked in airlines for like a long time of her life, preparing and cutting up fruit. So she kind of instilled that in me at a young age, the proper way of cutting a pineapple. And we are going to learn, because I do not know how to cut a proper pineapple. So first things first, you can either take off the top. I'll do that today. Whoa. There you go. Really nice and fresh. I did not know you can do that, like for reals. <laughs> <laughs> then you want to cut off a little section, beautiful, cut off this other section so that we have a flat surface, kind of like if you've been keeping up with a grapefruit and how I taught you guys how to cut it in segments, you're going to go around it with your knife always away from you and graze it. The goal is to try and take off this rough you know, rough skin, to, it's there to protect it, but it kind of prevents us from getting access to our fruit. So you're just going to keep going around, cutting up the skin. If you have these little parts, the goal is to try and cut them off. To be honest, I get a little lazy, so I don't always cut them off, but it's up to you. The choice is yours. It's not really going to harm you. You just want to make sure you cut off most of the green, most of the brown, a little prickliness isn't gonna hurt you. And nice. In the center of each pineapple is a core. Super tough, super, oh my gosh, super tough, hard to kind of bite through. So you always want to cut around it. Just like you would with like an apple. Okay, let go. There you go. See? That's the beautiful core. Again, really tough. Can't even break it apart. I probably could, but I don't want to splash from Stephanie in the face. Please you know, don't. And then the nice thing with all these scraps, don't throw it away. You can actually put them in a pot with water and some cinnamon sticks, boil it, and then you have pineapple tea. Ooh, fun yeah, fact. Fun stuff. So, don't throw it away, you can utilize it. So in order to start with our pineapple drink, we are gonna be utilizing the stove today. Our stove is this. Yes. I know you guys have a gas powered one, which makes life so much easier. But you know, I just wanted to show you guys you can do this anywhere. Despite the fact that I'm in the kitchen next to a stove, I'm choosing to do this, you know, with an electrical one, because you can do anything anywhere. So I'm just gonna cut off four little segments of pineapple. I'm just gonna make it into little cubes. Nice. Again, I'm only gonna do a little bit because as always. We already have it made. As you know. And you're gonna put it in your nice little pot. Dump it in there. Nice and fresh. Fresh, beautiful pineapple. Now you're gonna take some sort of masher, either a cup, a fork, something strong, a frijoles masher, 
a mashed potato masher, whatever you got. And you're just gonna try and squeeze it. Really push through to try and get some of those pineapple juices out. Really mash it, mash it, mash it. You just wanna try and flatten it to get those juices out. You see all those juices? This pineapple was nice and juicy. Juicy, juicy things are really great to have because, you know, less effort. Don't go crazy as I almost did <laughs> and almost fling the pineapple everywhere. So you just want to lightly mash it, mash it. Next, I have a lime. Something different now, it's not an orange. I know, I change things up every once in a while. Did you notice I have a different outfit? I know, it's rare. I change my clothes sometimes. Or I don't do all the videos in one day. You be the judge or the guest. So we're gonna squeeze out half a lime. Give it some extra little juice. Ah. Yeah, half a lime will do. Now we're gonna take our salt, as always, and we're just gonna spank it. Bad boy, bad. There you go. And then we have our beautiful sugar. Again, always using a quarter cup. We're just gonna sprinkle it. Again, because I have a little bit, I'm just gonna do a quarter cup. A little extra Woo. and then we're gonna put it on the stove which I've already had preheating to get it because you know it's electric don't do this at home if it's a fire one turn on the gas and stuff if it's an electric one turn it on a little early just to let it warm up and you're just gonna let it sit there and let it cook down a little bit hopefully by the time we finish it'll cook down something yes and we can show you guys how it looks if not It'll look like this. <laughs> It'll just be hot and bubbling. So you'll want to set it aside to cool down. Put it in your little container and you just store it in the fridge. Store it wherever you can. The cute thing about this is that because lemon and lime, see it's nice and thick, tasty, is that they have an actual pectin in it. So technically this is jam. So I could put this on my toast, I could put this on my bread. I would just need it to put it in a nice sterilized glass bottle, and then I have my own jam or preserves. It also works for drinks. So and that's what we're making. We're gonna zhuzh it up a little bit. So we're gonna take some more pineapple, and we're just gonna cut it. Let's just cut some more strips into it. We're gonna dice it up nice and fine, just to give those extra little pineapple bits, fresh pineapple goodness into it. Now, because I was making these at our beautiful port site, which doesn't really have a kitchen, which is why I have this electric gas, not electric gas, but this electric stove, um, I didn't have salt. So now I'm gonna add in my salt, but please make sure you add in your salt earlier. Ooh, look, it's bubbling. So now I'm just gonna add my little salt. Cause again, I didn't have it earlier cause I didn't have salt at the time, you know, like, it's fun. And we're gonna squeeze in the other half of this lime. Give it that freshness and one other lime. Let's cut it. Oh my gosh, there we go. Again, if you don't have a juicer, you can have some tongs, a spoon, your hands to squeeze it out. Sometimes if your hands aren't strong enough, this is better, but if your hands are strong enough, you know, squeeze it. And there. you guys should be strong because you guys are young and healthy and strong. Yeah, right? You should be. But if you aren't, no, no shame, no <laughs> No judgment. You know, live your life. So now we're going to mix it into our jam. Because I've added in this nice lemon juice, it'll kind of make it a little less sticky, make it a little more pliable. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Mixing is fun. Or not. Can you smell it? Is it like amazing? It smells like pineapple. So that's a good start to be honest. I'd rather be upset if it smelled like, I don't know, a watermelon? Does watermelon <laughs> even smell? Yes. I don't know. 
I don't pay close enough attention. You see how it's bubbling nice like that? You're gonna wanna let it bubble, like, cause it's a small amount, like maybe five minutes, and then I'll be able to take it out. In the meantime, I'm gonna spoon some of our delicious pineappleness into here. So a little bit more of this fresh pineapple, a little bit of our jam, spoon it up in here. And to decorate, that didn't work out well. To decorate, I'm gonna try and spoon some out on the sides. Yeah, it could be better. Maybe you guys can do it better at home and you guys can shout this out or snap it to us through our Boys and Girls Club Instagram. Instagram, tag us. Tag us, there you go. Do you know what the, our Instagram is, Ms. Um, BGC LA Harbor. Right? I think that's it. I believe so. That's a good another scoop. Oops. There we go. So I'm going to leave that in there. It looks a little messy. I know. But first I'm going to give this a quick little stir. Can you smell anything coming off of it? Yes, I can. That smells good. really good. It smells like fresh pineapple. And then if we're gonna go back, I'm just gonna do this with mineral water because we have our pineapple jam. So I'm hoping it'll be sweet. If not, you can do this with regular water. Again, if you don't like the bubbly, I'm gonna put it up to there. I personally don't like soda water because it kind of burns my throat. I think I said that last time. But you know, it just makes it cute and fancy. It and bubbly. If not, you can always do regular water. And it'll be super nice. Then we're gonna add in some ice. A nice small piece of ice. Then to decorate it, we'll do. Ooh, this pineapple's prettier. Nice little slice of pineapple. What do you think? Right here on the set edge? Yes. And then two more inside right there on the side and then some slices of fresh lemon i mean lime <laughs> this is a lime my bad i didn't even catch that yeah you know it's like the same thing right yeah one right there one right there and there we go we have take a this pineapple out aid. Wait, let's take out the spoon. Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Look at this. Nice and pretty. Fruity, delicious. That's just about ready. See? Let's see if I can stir it up, so can give it a taste. <gasps> <laughs> don't mind the pretty um, you know, don't pineapple mind the, that fell. You know, pineapple that's trying to escape. If you have a knife, you know, knives make things a little easier. Another pretty pineapple that fell? No, it's, it's trying to save itself. You know, freedom. And there you go, as you can see, it's changed color, so it's now fully mixed up, mixed in. And then, Miss Steph, do you want to try this one? I do I'll want to. I'll try the next one. Oh, oh my gosh, camera flip! <laughs> We're able to do it again! Hi, okay, guys! There's Miss Steph. Let's see how it is. Be honest, Miss Steph. It's okay, yeah, you can hurt my feelings. Mix it more. That's totally fair. You notice she has the same the Apple Watch? <laughs> I know. She always does with that. Okay. I'm ready. Go for it. It's amazing. Someone's calling me. Super fun. Super, super fun. It's amazing, guys. Nice. So then right now, we can turn this off. Set it to the side to let it cool down. 
Okay. And then you would just... And you can hear me through the ice. Super fun. It's really good. Nice. All right. So we'll catch you all on the next one. Coming up Bye, in a few seconds. Ready, set, go.